How's it going everyone? Manus Spider here, bringing another episode in the Pokemon TCG series. So today we're going to be doing something slightly different. I've amassed quite a few packs recently, I haven't opened anything in quite a while. And what I would like to do is open up all these packs and essentially draft whatever I get inside of them. Um, so I'm going to try and make a deck out of just what I get from these packs. Um, there will be a list of everything I get at the end of the video. And I want to see if you can actually make a deck that's playable to some extent um, from just doing a draft from some random boosters picked up. Um, now, I know obviously this is not going to be a hyper competitive deck. That is not the point of this. Um, I don't expect to do very well with this deck, but I want to see if it is possible to make a deck from just doing a pure draft of a whole bunch of random boosters from the game. Um, again, I've entered no codes into Pokemon TCG. Uh, I've basically only played the theme deck challenge, well, the theme deck ladder. So this is going to be very, very interesting as a first time experience. So I'm really keen and really excited to see what comes up. So let's jump straight into it, open up some packs. And yeah, if you have any suggestions for um, decks from cards that you see from this, uh, yeah, any deck concepts, any really good combos that you see come up, please do let me know in the comments down below. As this is going to be the first time I've made a Pokemon deck in maybe 15 years. Um, so this is going to be one interesting challenge. So I'm really looking forward to actually crafting a Pokemon deck after a very long hiatus. So let's get this going. So let's start up with the Celestial Storm deck. Well, Booster. So what do we get? Okay, so we got Electric. I'm a big fan of Electric, as you know from watching my channel. Spoink, eh, okay. Metatite, by a coin. If hit, Pokemon would be knocked out by damage from an attack during your opponent's next turn. It is not knocked out and its remaining HP becomes zero. Eh, it can be handy to sit there. Bellsprout, I'm a sucker for grass type Pokemon, so if I can make a grass deck with this, I'm going to be super happy. Blot, heal 10 damage from this Pokemon. I quite like that. I'm a, yeah, long game of quite like friend ball. Search a deck for a Pokemon with the same type as one of your opponent's Pokemon in play. Reveal and put, uh, that's, I, I don't see myself using that. More wow, mining. Search a deck for an item card, reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. If that card is a Pokemon tool card, instead of putting it into your hand, you may attach to one of your Pokemon that doesn't already have a Pokemon tool attached to it. That's quite useful. And then bite off of opponent's active Pokemon as a GX or an EX, this takes 30 more damage. Again, that's de it's decent. I got a new Tang, Bullet Punch, flip two coins, attack to 20 more damage for each heads. Not bad for, especially one energy. Ooh, we got a shiny Bagon. Bagon. Reckless Charge, this Pokemon deals 10 damage to itself. Just a beautiful card, I love that artwork. And what's our rare? Ooh. Bennett GX. Shady move. Once during your turn before you attack, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, you may move one damage counter from one Pokemon to another Pokemon. Ooh. Shadow Chant. This attack does 10 more damage for each supporter card in your discard pile. You can't add more than 100 damage in this way. Okay. Okay. And then Tomb Hunt GX. I love the Bennett only needs one psychic energy. That's amazing. Put three cards from your discard pile into your hand. Okay, I can see it being very useful with some good supporter cards. Okay, not a bad first one. Let's see, what's our next pack got? Ooh, yay. Ooh, okay, no shiny, no foil. Actually, no, that is a foil. Yeah, that is a foil. Yeah, search your deck for up to two Prism Star cards. Reveal them, put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Okay. Kecnia, Poison Payback. If this Pokemon is your active Pokemon and is damaged by an opponent's attack, even if this Pokemon is knocked out, the attacking Pokemon is now poisoned. I quite like that. I like playing the slow game. Hey, I got two Mudkips. Water Reserve. You can put it into your hand. Oh, that's pretty decent for charging up your hand. And meh. And very beautiful Mudkip card though. Wow, I'm loving this artwork. Not a fan of the Crocheted Pokemon though. Your opponent switches to active Pokemon 1 to their bench Pokemon. Eh, that's the energy though. Sneasel, Fury Swipes, and Beat Up, okay. Sublime, Excavate, once during your turn, you may look at the top card of your deck, you may discard that card. That can be useful, that can be very useful. And the last thing is I can just throw it into any deck essentially, because it doesn't require Dark Energy. 
Okay. That's got disabled, which is quite nice. Hey, a marsh tunnel. Muddy water and surf. Energy recycling system. Not terrible. And our rare is going to be... Ooh. A foil delicacy. Search for friends. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may put two supporter cards from your discard pile into your hand. I quite like that. That can be quite useful. Let's see. What's next? Okay. Slackoth flashing. Very, very nice. Shuppet? Hey, maybe. Uh, Trico. Okay, very nice. Cacnea. Mudkip. Pelipper. Firefighting. Eh. It's very situational. Volbeat, Pheromone Catch. If you're Illuminous, use Pheromone Signals during your last turn to get 100 more damage. <sighs> it's an unlikely combo. It's cool, but it's unlikely it's ever going to go off. Manure. Falling Star. Once during your turn before you attack, if this Pokemon is in your hand and your bench isn't full, you may move your active Pokemon to your bench and play this Pokemon as your new active Pokemon. Interesting. This attack's damage isn't affected by weakness, resistance, or any other effects in your Pokemon's active Pokemon. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm, okay. Hey, a very nice foil seed art. I'm loving these foils. The artwork on these cards is beautiful. And hello. That is a beautiful card. Apricorn Maker. Search your deck for up to two item cards that have the word ball in them, in their name. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. That is an amazing support card that I'd love to get on the first turn. Wow. That's a beautiful full art card. Okay, let's open another. Oh, I haven't drafted a game in a long time. The last one I did was Magic the Gathering. Ooh, this is looking like a good one. Spinarak. Again, I'm a suck of a grass type Pokemon, and bugs are so cute. Whelma, Wave Swallower. Flip a coin. Until you get tails for each head, heal 50 damage from this Pokemon. <laughs> okay. Torkoal. Flaming Honk, discard the top four cards of your deck. If any of those cards or energy cards, attach them to your Pokemon any way you like. Eh. Yeah, okay. Oricocorio. Oricorio, sorry. Zappy Pom Poms. This attack does 30 damage to each Pokemon GX and Pokemon EX, both yours and your opponents. Meh, yeah, okay. Okay. Swalot. Eh. I don't really see myself running a Swalot. Ooh, very nice. A very foil Aridos. Reactive Poison, this attack does 50 more damage for each special condition affecting your opponent's Pokemon. And Spider Trap, you may switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep and poisoned. Ooh, I quite like that. Quite like that a lot. That is a beautiful full art foil Articuno GX. That is a very nice pull. Legendary Ascent. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may switch it with your active Pokemon. If you do, move any number of water energies from your other Pokemon to this Pokemon. That is amazing. Ice Wing, 130 damage for 3, and then Cold Crush GX. Discard all energy from both active Pokemon. Okay. Interesting. So you completely just shut down your opponent's Pokemon. Okay. That's different. Beautiful card though. I love that artwork. Let's open another. I'm enjoying this. I must say I'm loving the art. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Okay, nothing too amazing here. Chincho, Medite, Torchic, Alone and Radita. Oh, I have actually pulled that card before on a previous booster. Skitty, not so bad. Okay. Which one's this? Captivating Salsa. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. The new active Pokemon is now burned and confused. Or a Corio. That could actually work really nicely with that Spinner Rock as well. Or a Corio. Hmm, okay. Maybe a Fire Grass deck in the works? Yeah, okay. Pupitar, not too bad. Fishman. Oh, a nice foil, Skitty. I'm getting a lot of foils. I quite like this. And our next one. Ho ho. Ho ho. That, that is absolutely beautiful. A second copy of the Octagon GX. Absolutely beautiful foil. My word, these are nice pulls. Let's get some more. Okay. Uh, wait, that was the wrong button. So, let me know what you think of those pulls so far. I'm loving those two Octagonos. 
Two back-to-back -back Arcticino GXs. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, let's look at our Sun and Moon. Our Cosmic Eclipse boosters. Let's see if we get just as lucky, because those were some very, very nice pulls from that Octacunos. So let's see what we get this time. Okay, a whole bunch of new cards. I don't think I've opened virtually any Cosmic Eclipse boosters. Skull, Poison Breath. Eh, okay, that's not bad. Pikachu. Yeah, okay, not so bad. Tediosa. That's alright. Nose Pass. Draw Towards. Switch one of your opponent's page Pokemon to active Pokemon. Eh, it's not bad. Lit Leo. Eh, okay. Heracross, lunge out. That's not bad. It's pretty tanky. World Horn. If you if your opponent has any tag team Pokemon in play, this takes to 70 more damage. Rival Horn. That's not bad. Uh, Pangaroo. That's not bad for. Yeah, that's not bad. Golduck. Hey, and ask for early Professor Oak setup. Search your deck for up to three basic Pokemon of different types and put them onto your bench. Then shuffle your deck. That's pretty cool. And what do we have here? A Dusknaw. Grim Marking. If this Pokemon is your active Pokemon and is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, put four damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. And one energy for Psych Up. During your next turn, this Pokemon Psych Up attack does 60 more damage before applying weakness and resistance. That's pretty cool. I like that. Again, it's only one energy. I like low energy consumption decks. They make the management much, much easier. That was a pretty good draw. Okay, it's looking quite nice so far. Ooh. Okay. So, uh, Lolan Sanchu, I love the artwork on that. Very, very cute. Uh, Snorunt. Flip a coin until you get tails. Tuck does 20 damage for each head. So, you get super lucky. You can have so much fun with that. Coughing, blow away bomb once during your turn. When you discard this Pokemon with the effects of Roxy, you may put one damage count on each of your opponent's Pokemon. Eh. Drillbo. Okay, that's not so bad. Swillix, Cotton Guard. Um, Cricketune. Imp. What? Improvis. Improvisational performance. Wow. Improvisational performance. Improvisan. Improvisational performance. Wow. Okay. If you have exactly one card in your hand, this stack does 100 more damage. If you have exactly three cards in your hand, your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. If you have exactly six cards in your hand, this stack does 30 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Improvisational. Ah, my tongue is just not working today. Okay, that is an interesting cricket tune. I'm probably not going to run that card just because I can't even say that attack. Improvised performance is what I'll call that. Improvisational performance. Wow. Island Challenger Amulet. The Pokemon GX Pokemon EX's card is attached to gets minus 100 HP, and when it is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, that player takes one fewer prize cards. Wait, the Pokemon GX or Pokemon EX this card is attached to gets minus 100 HP and when it is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, that player takes one fewer prize cards. Okay. Interesting. I guess it's a way of limiting if you're running a lot of them. Oh, wow. So, okay, uh, Sogaleo, very nice foil. Armor of the Sun. If you have Lunar... Uh, Lunala in play. Lunala in play. Your so Solga Leo. My word, I'm not getting my names out today. Uh, take 50 less damage from your opponent's attacks after applying weakness res resistance. Wow. You can't apply more than one arm and sun ability at a time. And then Soul Fang, discard two energy from this Pokemon. Quite tanky. I don't know if I'll run it, but quite tanky. And then a Lolan Muck. Uh, panic Poison. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned, confused, and poisoned. Oh, that's horrible and then sludge bomb is 110 that panic poison is terrible wow that's crazy okay let's open up that was quite cool sorry i'm butchering probably most of these names that was a terrible round i don't know what's happening today this cannot pronounce anything tangibus toxic okay very cool uh Kukutot, interesting whalmer not so bad end up getting the pulpitoad end up getting another drawbar another heracross uh, another Pangoro, another Golduck, Pangoro, sorry. Ah, a nice for your Golok. Rock Tumble, attack does damage in effect by resistance, and Fist of Antiquity, if you have any support to discard pile, the attack does nothing. Hmm, okay. And, eh, yeah, okay. Uh, Polisand. That's not so bad. Not the best pack ever, but not so bad. I'm still, like, blown away by those 
Octocoon as a bolt. Okay, so a Ralts, a Sandigas, pulled a Sphere, pulled a Cottony, pulled a Rowlet, takes 10 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Huh. Pulled a Type No, pulled a Chaotic Swell. Whenever either player plays a stadium card from their hand, discard that stadium card after discarding this one. Okay, so it just blocks the next stadium card. Lana's Fishing Rod, shuffle Pokemon and a Pokemon tool card and discard power to your hand. Ooh, very nice for your Eevee. Follow my tale. Search your deck for any number of Eevee and Eevee GX and put them onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. That's, that's pretty good. And a very nice tag team, Arceus and Dialga and Polka. Polka. Ultimate Ray, 100 damage. Search your deck for up to three basic energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon any way you like. Then shuffle your deck. Altered Creation GX. I don't think I can read this, it's so small. For the rest of this game, your Pokemon's attacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon before applying weakness and resistance. If this Pokemon has at least one extra water energy attached to it, in addition to the attack's cost, when your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out by damage from those attacks, take one more prize card. Wow, that's really, really great. So you pop it at basically like first turn if you can, or second turn if you can. And then your attacks the rest of the game deal 30 more damage. That's pretty cool. So, those are some decent packs. Okay, next we got some Forbidden Lights from the Sun and Moon series. So, let's open this up. And what do we get? Okay, so, picked up an Esper, picked up a Fennekin, picked up a Lit Leo, picked up a Furfu, picked an Inkay, a uh, Klefki. Picked up a Uxi. Picked up a Lady. I always quite like Lady. And identified Fossil. Play this card as if it were 60 HP basic Pokemon any time during your turn before you were attacked. You may discard this card from play. This card can't retreat. No. That's always alright. It's nice to have one of those. In your collection. And a uh, Barbarical. Eh, okay. If you have exactly 7 cards in your hand, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. It's too situational for me. That wasn't the best pack, but let's see what happens next. Okay. Mm, all right. Picked up another Furfru, another Lit Leo, a Fennekin, and Clauncher. Picked up a Barnacle. Picked up a whole uh, whole Lucha. Ah, that's not bad. Um, Brakeson. Ah, Brakeson was always quite nice. Picked up an Azelf. Azelf. Picked up a Foil Klefki, which is quite nice. And what's our special card? Hello, a full art foil Diantha. You can play this card only if one of your fairy Pokemon was knocked out during your opponent's last turn. Put two cards from the discard pile into your hand. If you're playing a fairy deck, that's very, very nice. Beautiful, beautiful card art. Okay, let's go for another draw. Let's see what we get. Ooh, okay, got a foil. Got Esper, got Krogunk, got a Froki, ah, oh, Cubone, got a Snova, Crash Awake, just got two energy cards from your hand. If you do, search your deck for up to two cards and put them into your hand. Can be very useful. Another Uxie, a Bonnie. You can play this card only if there is any stadium card in play. Discard that stadium card. During this turn, your Zygarde GX can use his GX attack even if you have used your GX attack already. Useful if you're running him. Sligu, foil, absorb, heal 30 damage from this Pokemon. That's nice, it's a pretty foil. And our special card is a Meow Stick. Okay, eh, that's not so bad. All right, I'm okay with those. So let's go to Sun and Moon, our Lost Thunder Boosters. As I said, I've got quite a few boosters to work through, so this is gonna be very interesting. Pulled some very nice cards. Okay. Because, yeah, I got another foil. Got a Cyndaquil. Got a Dedene. Got a Bruxish. Got a Pipikik. Pikipek. Sorry. Pikipek. Got a Slugma. Got an Electabuzz. Got a Fluffy. Got Mixed Herbs. Got a Foil Ether Foundation employee. Put three Pokemon that have their Lolan in their names from Discard Pile to hand. Running a Lolan deck, that's always quite useful. And we picked up a Pyro, very nice. 
Very nice. Let's open another. Let's see what else we get. Hey, Jigglypuff. So I picked up a Jigglypuff, picked up a Mareep, picked up an Alone and Vulpix, Secret Alleyway. If you have any fairy Pokemon in play, this Pokemon has no retreat cost. Very nice. Got a Houndor, got a Poipole, got a Mantine, Mantine Surf. If this Pokemon has any energy attached to it, it has no retreat cost. That's always nice. Got a Wait and See Hammer. You can use this card only if you go second and only on your first turn. Just got an energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon. Oh, that's so situational. So situational. Fairy Charm. Prevent all damage done to the fairy Pokemon this card is attached to by attacks from your opponent's Grass, Pokemon GX, and Pokemon EX. Yeah, so situational again. Hey, got a feel sudo feel. A foil sudo wudu. Reply strongly. If this Pokemon is damaged by an attack during your opponent's last turn, while it was your active Pokemon, this attack does 80 more damage. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. And hey, that's quite a very nice Ultra Beast. Uh Nihiligo. Nihi Nihiligo. I'm really I'm not getting my names today, I'm sorry. Nightcap. You can use the attack only if your opponent has exactly two prize cards remaining. Choose one of your opponent's Pokemon attacks and use it as this attack. And Void Tentacles, your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused and poisoned. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, yeah, sorry guys, I know a lot of the newer names I'm not that familiar with because I've only played the games, I haven't actually watched the series. So I do apologize, I know I'm going to butcher some of the names. Picked up a Marini. Picked up, uh, picked up a Combi. Picked up a Larvitar. Picked up a Slowpoke. Picked up a Cub Chew. Picked up a Carbink. Quite nice. Uh, picked up a Shenotic. Effect Store. If this, effect Spore. If this Pokemon is your active Pokemon and is damaged by an opponent's attack, the attacking Pokemon is now asleep. Picked up a Memory Energy. Uh, the Pokemon's card is attached to you can use any attack from its previous evolutions. That can always be quite useful. Picked up a Foil Mareep, which is quite nice. And our special card is a Foil Gardevoir. Now, very nice. Okay, let's open up. Let's see what else we get. Okay. So, Cyndaquil. Picked up a Dene. Picked up a Ralts. Picked up a Snubble. Picked up a Chansey. Picked up a Psychic Fairy Charm. Picked up another Eridos. Picked up a Mantine. Picked up a Foil Wormpool, which is quite cool. And we get a Houndoom. Okay, not so bad. I have no idea what deck I'm going to build with these. Okay, we've got a Tag Team from the Sun and Moon series. Let's see what we get this time. So in this one, we get... Something good, something good, something good. We've had some good pulls. Let's get some more. Okay. Got a Blitzel. Got a Joltik. Got a Vulpix. Got a Mareep. Got a Pidgey. Got another unidentified fossil. Got a Rapidash, which is quite nice. Got an Evelyn. You can play this card only if your opponent's active Pokemon is a stage one. Draw four cards. That's pretty good. Got a Viridian Forest. Foil. Very nice. And picked up a Nidoking. King. Okay. Drag off. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. This attack does 50 damage to the new bench Pokemon. I quite like that drag off. And then King's Drum. If Nidoking Queen is on your bench, this attack does 100 more damage. Very cool. Okay. Not a bad one. Let's see. We've got a Sun and Moon Ultra Prism. What do we get? Hopefully we get some luck. We've got some really good luck early on. And let's see if that carries on. So... We got ourselves a Piplup, got ourselves a Morlal, got ourselves a Magmar, got ourselves another Eevee, got another Sneasel, got ourselves a Lily, got a Floatzel, got ourselves a Mars, draw two cards, if you do, discard a random card from your opponent's hand, I quite like that. Got a Gardenia, uh, heal 8 damage from one of your Pokemon that has any energy, grass energy attached to it, quite useful. And we got ourselves a very nice Foil Magmortar. Incandescent body. If this Pokemon is your active Pokemon and is damaged by an opponent's attack, the attacking Pokemon is now burned. That's quite cool. Okay. That was quite a nice pull. So, let's open up some Sun and Moon and Broken Bonds. What do we get? Let's see. quite enjoyed this. I've forgotten how much fun opening boosters is and doing a draft. 
So, Oddish got ourselves a Wooper, got ourselves a Cottony, a Spirit Sea, got a Gligar, free flight. If this Pokemon has no energy attached to it, it has no retreat cost. Eh, that's not so bad. Got a War Tortor, a Solid Shell, which is quite nice, takes 20 less damage. Got ourselves a Rhydon, got a Frogadier, got ourselves a Foil Lickitung, which is always quite nice. And what's our special card? We got ourselves a Sharpedo with Greedy Evolution. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may look at the top six cards of your deck and attach any number of dark energy cards you find there to this Pokemon. Shuffle the other cards back into your deck. That's quite nice. Bad Fangs, this attack does 20 more damage times the amount of dark energy attached to this Pokemon. Okay, that's quite good. So it should be dealing um, 80, 120 damage in a pure dark deck. That's quite interesting. I like it. It's a way to charge yourself up, which is quite useful. But you have a chance of milling yourself, which is also not so useful. So we've got Murkrow, Mercru got an Oddish, got a Togepi, got a Carvana, got ourselves a Ghastly Swelling Spite. When this Pokemon is knocked out, search your deck for up to two Haunter and put them onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. Interesting. Got a Cleffa. Excitable draw. Once during your turn before you attack, you may flip a coin. If heads, shuffle your hand into your deck and then draw six cards. If you use this ability, your turn ends. Eh, I don't know about that. Giovanni's Exile. This card up to two of your bench Pokemon that have no damage counted on them and all cards attached to them. Okay, interesting. Graveler, not so bad. Ooh, two nice cards. Hey, we got ourselves a Foil Licky Licky. Eat up. Before doing damage, discard all Pokemon tool cards from your opponent's active Pokemon. If you discard a Pokemon tool card in this way, heal all damage from this Pokemon. That's quite cool. And Tungnado. Flip four coins. This attack does six damage for each heads. Okay, <laughs> you gotta get very lucky with that, but even average, you got 120 damage. And a Domanatine. That's quite cool. Okay. I like that Licky Licky. It's quite cool. So we've got ourselves the Unified Bonds from the... Unified Minds, sorry, from the Sun and Moon series. Let's see what we get. So in this pack, we see ourselves picking up a... Metatite, which is quite cool. A Noibat. Got ourselves a Swaddle. Swaddling Leaves. This Pokemon takes 10 less damage. That's always quite nice. Um, Scorpy. Got ourselves a Wimpod, Recycle Energy. If this card is discarded from play, put it into your hand. So this card pile. That's always a very nice special energy. Got ourselves a Thunderous. Got ourselves a Ordinio. Got ourselves a Foil Gabite, which is quite nice. And we have ourselves a Talonflame. Okay, that's not so bad. No idea what type of deck I'm gonna run. Okay, what do we get in our chests? Oh, we picked up a Cacturn, which is quite nice. If this Pokemon is active Pokemon is damaged by your opponent's attack, it is now poisoned. Okay. And Faint Attack. This attack does 50 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. <sighs> its energy cost is very high for that though. Um, okay, let's open another. What do we get? We get five and we get what looks like an amazing card. We got a Foyor Dioxus, which is quite nice. Worst during your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 40 less damage from attacks. And then Psychic Corkscrew for 80 damage. That's not affected by resistance. Beautiful card, though. Okay. We took five more Poke Points, and we get ourselves a very nice Zeb Striker. Very, very nice. Okay, Raid. If this Pokemon evolved from Blood Sword during this turn, this attack does 90 more damage. Very, very nice card, though. Got ourselves another five Poke Points. And. A Foil Shedinja. Vessel of Life. Once during your turn before you attack, you may discard all cards attached to this Pokemon and attach it to one of your Pokemon as a Pokemon 2 card. When, this po when the Pokemon this card is attached to is knocked out, your opponent takes one fewer prize cards. Interesting. Okay. Put three damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon. Interesting, Shedinja. Interesting. Okay. So we pick up another five Poke Points. And what card do we get? Get a Typhlosion foil. Very, very, very nice. Blazing Energy. Once during your turn before you attack, you may use this ability. All energy attached to your Pokemon are fire energy instead of their usual types until the end of your turn. 
Okay, that's not so bad. Let's open another. Okay. So I to make a water deck just for those Octacunos. We got a jump Luff, Lost March. This attack does 20 damage for each of your opponent, for each of your Pokemon except Prism Star Pokemon in the Lost Zone. Okay, I don't know if I'll be using that. So that is what we picked up. Those are some amazing, amazing draws. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy by those draws. Uh, ah, I can't s search by most recent Pokemon picked up. Okay, so those are our draws. L I'll put up a full list of what I picked up um, at the end of this video. Let me know what what you think I should even run. Um, Arcticuno. Where's Mark Takuna? Let's go Pokemon. Um, yeah, I I don't know what type of deck I'm going to run for. Um, yeah, honestly, I have no idea what I'm going to run. Um, I'm very interested to see what I'm going to do. Because I haven't made a deck in so, so long that I've basically just, f yeah, I've forgotten. I'm loving these Octuno GXs though. I mean, this card is absolutely beautiful. I think I just need to make a deck just because of it. But yeah, so let me know what you think. Um, as of right now, I'm either, oof, I'm leaning towards either a grass deck or a water deck. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try and use only the cards I picked up from the draft though. So it's gonna be quite difficult. If I picked up a type of card, so like, um, for instance, if I picked up the, um, sorry, oh wait, I can't search for news, let me filter, I need filter for new, new grass type Pokemon, for instance, um, picking up the Arados, um, I'm pretty sure I picked up a Spinner Rock, so I picked up a Spinner Rock, if I have more Spinner Rocks, I will then use it in the deck as well, but let's just see how that goes, so at least I can then make something viable out of it. So if I have multiple copies of the card, I will then use it. So yeah, let me know if you can see any deck ideas from this. I feel like the grass type Pokemon might be more viable, but let's see. Um, yeah, this is gonna be quite interesting what I'm gonna be able to make from this. I didn't pick up that many normal type Pokemon, which is a bit unfortunate because they're quite nice to bolster in deck. But yeah, so let me know what you think of the draws. I think I got a few lucky draws there with the supporter cards and the Arcticunos. Um, down the line, I'll, I might be willing to trade them as well, so let's see how this goes. But I definitely want to try making a deck from them first. And considering that my network connection has just been timed out, I think that's the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Cheers. Enjoy.